Hi, I'm Jim Grouch of Metenj Proprietary Limited, and in this short video, I want to show you the process for creating your own user function or small program in Learn Metsim or Learn APL for Metsim users, and then how you can copy and paste that function into Metsim and use it there as well. So to begin, um, from the Enter APL command line, I'm going to type in a close round bracket and the word edit. The close round bracket is in any word or system word after a close round bracket is an APL command. Um, so APL understands the word edit typed after close round bracket means create if it doesn't exist or open for editing if it does exist the name of an object. An object could be a function or a variable such as a matrix. We're going to create and edit a function with, which has the name add. When I press enter, the function, learn APL function editor opens. We can see from the, um, in, in brackets that it is, we are editing a function with the name add. And on line zero, which is the header of the function, we see the name of the function, add. I'm going to click in before the A of the word add, and I'm going to type in R and get, so the left arrow. And I guess as the previous uh, video was on use of surrogates, I could use the word gets instead of um, the left pointing arrow. But Metsim wouldn't un understand that, so I won't use the surrogate. I will use the left pointing arrow. So add, what's it going to do? Well, it's going to add numbers. So on the right hand side of the function name, I'm naming the uh, right hand um, argument for the function as numbers. And now we need to define what is this function going to do. I use lots of spaces and blanks lines, they're not necessary but they don't really slow down um, the calculation at all or take up much space. So I do that to make things simpler for me to understand what I've done when I look at it later. It makes it easier to read. So what does a function do? Well, it has to do something that will return a result to R. And what it's going to do is some addition or some plussing. And I want to apply the plussing across some numbers. So this is the APL primitive reduction or compress and what it does is it says apply the, the next thing that will be done across all of what is specified. So using APL surrogates I could have typed the word compress which you can find from the APL surrogates listing. Um, so compress the numbers using plus. In other words, the first number plus the second number plus the second, etc. I'm just going to use a reduction again so that we can use this uh, directly in medicine. So we previously saw that surrogates are converted to APL primitive if they are typed into the command line and they're displayed in the session, but we're not in a session, we're in a function. And this function is a storage of characters which will be executed. For them to execute in Metsim, we can't use surrogates. Okay, that's the end of our function. Um, with time, you, you, you realize you don't need all these spaces and what you decide to do is up to you, but it looks more logical to me in this grouping. Plus, applied across numbers. That's all we need to do. That's the end of our function. And we use a shortcut keyboard, key combination, control and E, to save our function and exit the editor. Now the, the function is saved into our current working environment, but the function will be not, not be saved to our workspace or our file for reuse when we reopen um, Learn Medsim unless we save the workspace. I am working in my workspace X Medsim or Medsim extensions and this is my workspace which has all my development code which you can purchase. I'm going to again use a close round 
bracket to indicate that I'm going to type a word that is an APL command and I'm going to use type the word save and I'm not going to specify what to save to and therefore the default is going to be into the currently open workspace which is my medicine extensions xmedicine. So I have now saved my workspace. The function is available for use. So the name is add and it expects some numbers. So add space one, two, three. And when, when I press enter, I see an echo back of the um, command. So this saves it, this gives me a record in my working session. I can use again whenever I want. And there's the result. Um, now I can double click into the word add in the session that will open the editor and I can go to anywhere in the line containing that expression and press enter and it will re-execute it. So the function seems to work well. Let's double click back into it, select everything and copy it to the to the um, clipboard with Control C, go to Metsim, user created objects, new function, give it the name, add, so it's the same, open it, select the add and replace it with the complete function from the clipboard, OK, exit, go to the APL keyboard, clear it, type an example, add 1, 10, 400, press enter, and we see the result. So that's it. Um, we've created our first um, user function or small program in LearnMedSim, and we've copied and pasted that into MedSim and used it. And a few times I've, I've said that this is our first user-defined function or a small program. There is no reason for this to be a small program. This is the starting point for as big and complex an application or, or custom programming, whatever you want. So this is a, a complete program environment, um, which is free and um, to assist MedSim users. Thank you for your time. I hope that was useful.